Hello everybody and welcome. Welcome to another flip through of one of our pink box wonders. <laughs> if you haven't um, seen these pink boxes before, they are in an attempt to keep the postage, both national and international, down to something that's somewhat manageable. Because some of the larger journals that I make, <laughs> postage is almost as much as the journal. I mean, it's ridiculous. So I have um, busied myself making projects that will fit into this box and be an appropriate weight that will go less expensively, let's say. So what's in the box today? <laughs> Here we are. It's our lovely little Highland Journal folio, folio stroke journal um, that you've watched me make. I think I've finished it all now. Usually when you're doing a flip through you find bits that you missed out but I think it's all finished um, and we'll have a look through it together see what you think of it so I've used the string and button closure again I'm really enjoying this at the moment I think it's just I don't know it just suits the this size of project really very nicely and it comes off completely so it's out of your way when you're flipping through it so we've got our little front that says secret notes <laughs> I like that uh, it's just, it's a beautiful paper kit, this, from Janie B Journals. Really, really lovely. So, as we open it up, we've got the Heeland Koo. <laughs> that is, I promise you that is how they say it. Heeland Koo. Uh, or a Highland Cow to you and I, I guess. Even although I am Scottish. Uh, let's just open it all up before we actually look closely. I mean, look at that. Look at the kit. It's just beautiful. So, OK, let's start off at the left hand side where we've got a very big side pocket and we've got two lovely um, postcards of journaling cards in there, backed with coffee stained paper. And this one's got a little ribbon bow, satin ribbon bow on the corner. Um, and you can see this lovely uh, hinge cover that we used. You know, we used a paper punch and I think it's so effective. I'll come back to the journal itself. Here we have a belly band and the stag is glued onto the belly band and we've got an envelope that I made. <laughs> it does go in and out. It really does. But my goodness me, it's a tight fit. <laughs> and that was despite the fact I made it smaller and smaller and smaller. But it does fit. It do, You know, I've obviously got it in there. Uh, then here we've got a nice corner pocket. This says nothing is impossible. Sometimes it's good to remember that, I think, with a nice purple bow, satin bow. And we've got bits of ephemera in here, quite a lot. Uh, a lovely double tag. It's that on the front and that on the back. Actually, that's me. Oh, I don't know. They're both lovely. And that fits right at the back there. Then we've got another postcard. This kit is staggeringly lovely. There's no two ways about it. Let's just lift that up a little bit there. Pop that there. Um, and I've just put loads of bits of ephemera in, really. Um, I particularly like this. It's just a different colour, slightly different take on the stag. And a couple of other little bits that just fitted in there. So they're in there like that. Uh, now here we've got a triple stacking pocket and I've put the word thistle on it, which is most appropriate um, because I've used the, the thistle papers quite a lot. And in the back, we've got a lovely big tag with the Highland cow on it. They're all backed uh, and that fits into the big long one at the back. Uh, then we've got couple of other pieces of ephemera. I didn't make these pockets gusseted so they haven't got loads of ephemera in. Uh, this one, isn't that gorgeous with the thistle on? Beautiful. Um, that just fits down into there and then this little tag here which fits in the front. So that's that. Let's see as we're on this side let's just have a look at the journal. It's not highly decorated. I've just used one of the pieces uh, from the of design paper from the kit um, and that's it there. I've just cut out this, what was a journaling card, put a bow on it and put the word journal there. 
and then as you go through it it's look it's tea stained paper actually it's really lovely and i've put out of my botanic book i've put some uh, pages of thistles because i just thought that was appropriate so there's quite a bit of journaling space in here another page with thistles on it um so there we have it nicely decorated so let's fold that up that goes like journal goes bottom that goes over there and then let's turn it to the back and see what we've got <laughs> i love this it's a pocket and a sort of belly band because this is on the back i didn't want this this tag to be flapping free because it would get caught on something um and and that's no good where so i've put it into a pocket and then i've just put this belly band kind of two thirds of the way up just to keep it in place. So let's see what else we have. We've got the Highland cow there um, and the stag. So this, if you stretch that out, this is what the back looks like. The beautiful stag and the Highland cow. And I haven't adulterated those pages in any way. They are perfect as they are. I've just put some ribbon and some lace along the bottom and where the stag is I've put beautiful and where the highland cow is I've put be kind. I don't know why it just looks so it's just adorable and that's it there is our journal so it folds up like that that comes down and then that folds over and then that goes over there and it gets the button closure on I really hope you like it um, and maybe you want to make one for yourself in which case follow the videos they're fairly um, I think there's two the only thing I didn't video was actually putting the making the journal and putting that in but you know how to do that I'm sure um, just wrap that around a couple of times then tuck it up under the the string there and then it's easy to get hold of and I just like to spread mine out a little bit along the spines like that so it looks nice so that ladies and gents is our highland folio journal i really hope you like it it will be for sale in my etsy shop um very soon i need to list it first and that's always a bit of a trauma but thank you so much for joining me i've really enjoyed what making this and i hope you've enjoyed watching me make it and enjoyed this little flip through so Thanks very much, guys. See you soon. Bye.